you know what's crazy is I decided to come back not like the first game of preseason not the second game but I decided to be like you know what I feel like filming today on the day that basically we're like contemplating whether or not Tyron Smith is going to come back to the Dallas Cowboys go figure when this injury first came out, it was like Tyron Smith has been injured. He's going to be out for the rest of preseason. He might be back later on in the season, hurt his hamstring. And you're thinking, okay, like I'm thinking, okay, nothing new, no offense, Tyron Smith. But then today when it came out about what surgery was going to be performed and that they're literally reattaching his hamstring to his knee, that's when I, I'm like, one, not only does this sound brutal, Two, the recovery for this is going to be even more brutal. Three, he's not, not that like his age, he's like my age and not that that's old at all, but like at a certain point you have to start contemplating, is my quality of life better without football? And I mean at this point, whoa. okay so here's one thing that really got on my nerves and grinded my gears today. Ugh. The Jerry Jones press conference, which too long didn't read version is this happened now, he's gonna recover, he's gonna heal, and then he's gonna be great for playoffs. And it's like, okay, one, this dude, literally, like his career is on the line right now. He's probably like, feels like crap, one, literally and physically. Two, how are you thinking about playoffs right now when y'all still gotta think about all these penalties that happened during the preseason? Like worry about that before you start worrying about January. Three, this is the exact mentality that happened with Tony Romo when he got hurt, he healed, and then he went out and got hurt again. What does that, like what good is that for the team if you're going to rush this recovery just to get back out there on the field? For what? I think if you would have asked me, like if you would have put me in the situation 10 years ago when I was like 22 years old and I was like, yeah, win, 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 go Cowboys, get another Super Bowl, no matter what, what the cost is. I'd be like, yeah, go, heal, go, play. And now I'm like, dude, really think about what you want five years from now when you're not playing football. Not because you're hurt or anything like that, but because, I mean, that's it. Unfortunately, football players do have limits where it's like, okay, at a certain point, do I still want to do this? Can my body still handle things like this? And the answer is no, most of the time. So I was thinking about that a lot today. I'm like, this, this, it sucks. It sucks for us as Dallas Cowboys fans. It sucks for the team because he, he's an important part of the team. He means a lot to the team, but it sucks for him too, because I'm sure he's contemplating whether or not this is the last time he's ever going to be out on a football field. And no player wants that. I mean, when football becomes your identity and it becomes who you are and literally like your job, you, it's hard to say goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye to any career that you, you love. But dude, there's nothing wrong with hanging it up. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with putting your own personal health first, your loved ones first, and just calling it quits. And it's totally fine, especially after all of this. So yeah, that Jerry Jones press conference made me want to come and be like, we cannot do this again. We cannot like be totally fine with them rushing the player, getting back out there on the field only to like end up in the same circle all over again because they weren't ready. And that's no fault of the players, that's biology. It takes a lot longer to heal than it does in like football terms because obviously football players wanna win. I'm bummed, I'm really bummed for him. Uh, Tyron Smith is one of my favorite players. I think he's an absolute monster when he's, when he's healthy and when he's you know, playing to his full capacity and lately he's just not been because he's been hurt and those injuries are not, it's not like a freaking, it's not like a sprained wrist. It's their, their injuries, their injuries that alter your body for the rest of your life. So how many of those are you going to put your body through before you're just like, you know what? I love y'all, but, and that's okay. Exciting to get back into the routine of football and it's going to be fun. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, what this recovery brings. Pray for him, pray for the team, pray for anybody in your life who's not, you know, having the best moment right now. So, bye!